Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this quick video, I would like to uh, show you how you can quickly create FAQ, frequently asked questions, uh, using Copilot. All right, so uh, essentially this is what I'm talking about, right? The, you know, sometimes you might want to uh, create a quick FAQ, you know, section, and it could be represented in SharePoint uh, through a variety of ways. You know, in this case, I'm showing you collapsible you know sections in SharePoint but it could be a list it could be um, you know just uh, maybe something in, in the loop application doesn't really matter uh, but how do we come up with this content right I mean how do you come up with all the questions and all the answers well obviously you can do it manually but let me show you a much quicker option so for that we're going to utilize the power of copilot and I have this uh, vehicle policy, all right? And, you know, here it is, you know, a bunch of, you know, text uh, like you would expect in the policy. And uh, I really don't want to prepare it manually, all right? It takes too much time. I need some help. So in this case, uh, we are going to utilize Copilot uh, with that. And uh, here's what you need to do. So first you upload a document to your OneDrive for Business, and that's important. I will actually explain to you kind of one limitation as of the recording of this video, and I'll show you a workaround. But for now, let's just upload the document to Wandra for Business. Here we go. Um, this uh, Then you check the box, and you can either click on this Copilot log over here, or you can click on the you know Copilot uh, dropdown over here, uh, and you will have a few options here. One of them will be create an FAQ, just click and that's pretty much it all right we're done we're done and um yeah it just pretty much um you know uh, extracts the information that you can now just copy and paste all right and uh yeah there is this copy button you can copy it you can obviously paste it maybe in a some sort of other document uh, maybe you want to paste it on the sharepoint page or whatever uh you use to communicate this information uh, but yeah, it just went and extracted all this information, right, you know, for you. And again, you can copy it. Uh, you can also ask, you know, follow-up questions uh, and, uh, uh, you know, just like that, all right? Obviously, you can type in your own questions too, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, all right? Nice and easy. And again, it just literally took a few seconds. You really didn't need to, uh, uh, you know, spend any of your valuable time. Now... Let me explain to you this workaround I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, so, look, they obviously, um, you know, most likely the, the policies and many other documents, right, they will be located in SharePoint. So uh, let me actually uh, go back to SharePoint. And, you know, I actually have this SharePoint policies document library, and that's where all my policies are. And that's the document right here that we I just showed you in my OneDrive for Business. All right, so it's a policy, it's a company policy, so obviously it belongs in SharePoint. That's where it is. But look, I don't have the same Copilot option in here. All right, as of the recording of this video, this option is still not here. Uh, hopefully it will be available here. It, it obviously does make sense, but let me show you a trick, a workaround um, that you can use for the moment. So go back to your OneDrive for Business. Uh, obviously, by default, you will see all your, you know, private files and folders, right? Uh, on the left-hand side, on the quick access uh, section, you're going to see the libraries that you pinned, uh, you know, uh, for, you know, quick access, right? So the ones you kind of, uh, you know, bookmarked. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. Yeah, right here. So I could just pin this library to quick access, and it will always be available on the you know, quick access in OneDrive. But even if you didn't, uh, it shows up in here. Why? Because I uh, essentially, uh, I, I pretty much visit it on a regular basis. So you just click and look at this. It's the same library that I just, you know, es essentially showed you in SharePoint. I can now view it from within OneDrive for Business. All right, again, this library still resides in SharePoint. Here it is, but I'm accessing it you know, from OneDrive for Business. And now if I click on this checkbox over here next to the file, look at this, I now have the Copilot dropdown. All right, and now I can create FAQ. 
uh, on SharePoint documents, but from within OneDrive for Business. All right, so nice and easy, nice and easy. Uh, and um, like I said, hopefully, uh, you know, this uh, Copilot dropdown uh, will be implemented in SharePoint document libraries at some point uh, as well. Uh, but that's all uh, really I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.